Hey guys, I hadn't done a Gravely video in a while, so I thought I'd post one. At the moment, I talked to this guy, and he makes these custom original style mufflers for him. So I bought one. It finally came today. But, you see, there it is. It hooks. The exhaust manifold for these things is basically a cast iron intake manifold. I've seen people use intake manifolds on it. You see, that pipe runs all the way up and just clears the gear reduction wheel mounting bolts. Fits really nice and snug. Gaskets are just burning in and the paint's burning, so it smokes a little bit when it's running, but that'll go away like new mufflers. That, that happens. But it's ready for snow blowing. Got my dog eater on it that I bought from Five Tractor Guy. It's all serviced and ready to go. Um, for that last storm we got, we only got about an inch on the ground up here, and it was away by the end of the day, so no chance for snow blowing on that one. Oh well, let me see. There's that new muffler. Love that new muffler. It sounds great too. It's a lot quieter than this old. Here, let me show it to you. Where is that old muffler? It's a piece of crap. Oh, here it is. And this old thing, you see, it's it's um, it's actually ceramic. It's not metal. That part's ceramic there. It's as loud as heck. You see, the whole thing wiggles. So that is original engraved exhaust manifold. What? Uh, oh, it was loud. But anyway, also got the lights working on the 1926 Model T two door. I'll plug in the battery and show that to you quickly. Um, Taillight's still having some trouble. It grounds to the fender. And with it all being rusty, I don't think it's just getting a good enough ground on that fender. But I'll be able to fix that easily enough. But I'll just show you guys the headlights. That's the ignition switch. Only the, the ignition part of it works like switching over from battery to coil power. And a lot of stuff. The lights part doesn't work. So I rerouted that to a toggle switch. So, let's see. Okay, that's, that's, and I took it around for drive last night, and they work surprisingly good. I mean, you can see, that's high, and the way it does high and low is it just has two different filaments inside the bulb, and one's in the back, one's forward. I forget which one's which, but it'll move to each different filament for the high and low setting. But you see with dim, it's hardly anything, not much, hardly any as light as on the high setting. But anyway, so I thought I'd show you to that guy. So you see, look at the difference. High, dim, high, dim, off. So I thought I'd show you guys that. Yeah, I plug the battery. Get a hot shot battery charge or system in that runs it off the Magneto. So this is a 17 engine, so it um, doesn't have a starter or generator. But I'd like to charge the battery since I'm running lights so I don't deplete it. So I got that little hot shot on it. But I need to recharge the mag. It's only putting about 3 volts, and I should be making 20. So we'll do that by hooking it up to a 12-volt battery and spinning the flywheel and charging each individual little magnet, recharging them. So we'll be back up to spec and be able to run the engine off it right now because the old switch was faulty and put 12-volt through the magneto and, like, discharged all that through it, so it didn't really work that well. But anyway, thanks for watching this update video. I'll try to have more stuff to come. I'd like to do a video... Need a video each week, but it's sort of hard to stick to that schedule when you're busy. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye. -bye.